Viva Las Vegas, the city of bright lights and big dreams. A city of glitter and glamour. Fortunes are made here in Las Vegas every day of the year. And the sharpshooters who've traveled here from around the globe harbor the same hope of striking pay dirt in Sin City, USA. So uh, we are here at the World Archery Indoor Championships here in Las Vegas, as you can see. And uh, we are uh, very excited to welcome 269 athletes from 36 countries. We have a, a junior event as well as a senior event, and we both have individual and team competitions in both recurve and compound. So we are in an Olympic year. We, of course, look very much forward to the London Olympics. And some of the teams are really trying out here with new athletes to see what their level is and see how they can uh, prepare well for the final qualification tournaments as well as the Olympics. We begin in Las Vegas with the women's recurve team gold medal match between the United States of America and the team from Japan. Taking a look at the trio of archers from Japan, Kani Miki, Nagaoka Mitsu, and Okubo Mai, they defeated the Ukrainian team 226 to 224 and then held off Russia by two points to reach the gold medal match against the trio from the United States. Brandy Deloach, Miranda Leek, and Jennifer Nichols these three got the best of Team Turkey 232 to 224 and won the tiebreaker with Italy, so they move on to the gold medal match. And after the first three ends, the United States is up by seven points. Japan needs a miracle to try to get back into this one. They shoot here in the fourth end, and on the fourth shot, they fire a 10. Japan trying to get back into this one. As we said, trailing by seven points after the first three ends. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Yo. And that shot is a nine. So it comes down to the final archer after the shot by Okubo. And now Connie, 17th in the world in 2010, okay. just 24 years old, a former Asian champ, finishes off strong as she scores a bullseye. So Miranda Leek, 18 years old, nice an up-and-coming star for the United nice States, job. steps up to the line, and Miranda fires a nine. Of course, a Good big cushion again. for the United States to work with. Brandy Deloach perhaps has been the most solid shooter all day for the American team, 27 years old, getting her first chance nice to medal Good in a job. major event, and she Good has job. been solid all throughout nice this shot, event. So the shot. United States about to put this one away. And it comes down to Jennifer Nichols, who is ranked 26th in the world, a veteran competitor. World champion. So a nine sews it up for Team USA as Jennifer Nichols comes through. She only needed a five, but she gets a nine, and that's enough for the victory as Team USA celebrates here in Las Vegas at the South Point Hotel. A great victory and a nice standing ovation by the fans in the stands here in Las Vegas, Nevada, applauding the efforts of Brandy Loach, Miranda Leek, and Jennifer Nichols, the fourth consecutive victory for the United States over the team from Japan. The Americans, of course, jumping out to a 55-54 advantage after the first end. They bumped their lead up to five after the second end. It was a seven-point lead after the third end, heading into the fourth end, and they outscore. Well, they were outscored, I should say, 58-56, to 56, but had enough of a cushion to come away with a victory. We were so proud to be able to be up there on our own, uh, in our own turf, um, in our own country, representing the United States and being able to win gold. We move on now to the men's recurve team gold medal match. And once again, the United States of America, well represented by some of the best archers in the world, including Brady Ellison, Jake Kaminsky, and Vic Wonderly. These three Americans defeated the Turkish team 233 to 229 in the quarterfinals, and then the Mexican trio in the semifinals, 236 to 231. Today, they'll be facing Bayer Badenov, Alexei Barodin, and Belginima Tsurimpolov from Russia. The Russian squad won a close one over Japan in the quarterfinals, 228 to 226. Had a little bit more breathing room in the semifinals, beating the Ukraine 227 to 229. This is a very closely contested match, and after the first three ends, the United States had a two-point lead. However, after the first three arrows of the fourth end, the Russians have caught up. It is tied at 202. That shot right there is a 10, and then a 9. 
and the Russians vying for a gold medal. It comes down to Badenov, and Badenov on the line with the 10. So now the Americans must rise to the occasion. They have to shoot a 30 on these final three shots to win the match outright. Brady Ellison going first, number one in the world in recurve competition. He fires a bullseye. Now it's Jake Kaminsky stepping up to the line, ranked 14th in the world. He shoots at 10. It comes down to Victor Wonderly and Wonderly, who won a silver medal at the 2000 Summer Games in Sydney. He fires at 10, three straight 10s to finish off the match for Team USA. They had to score 30 to avoid the tiebreaker, the shoot off, and they were able to do that coming through in the clutch. Hugs all around, congratulations from Coach Mel Nichols as Team USA wins the men's recurve team gold medal match here in Las Vegas. And there you see the final scores once again. The red, white, and blue coming through, 232 to 231. Now we continue on and go to the women's compound team gold medal match. And once again, the United States well represented. Erica Anschutz, Christy Conlon, and Tristan Scarvin. They defeated Italy in the semifinals 233 to 228. But Russia with a lot to cheer about here in Las Vegas at the South Point Hotel and Casino as they have three of their best sharpshooters stepping up today. Natalia Abdiva, Victoria Balzanova, and Albina Longanova. Those three defeated Finland by eight in the quarters and topped Great Britain by four in the semis. There you see the score, 171 to 168 after three ends of competition. Balzanova after three straight tens by the Russians to start the fourth end and close the gap to just one point. Balzanova eyes that target that's about the size of a dime, about two centimeters in indoor competition. She's just outside the center ring, and it's a nine. So now the 24-year-old Avdeva steps up, ranked 33rd in the world. She needs a 10, but she comes up with a nine every time. The Russians shoot a nine. That presents an opportunity for the United States. So now it is down to the second-ranked archer in the world, Albina Loganova. 28 years old, and she fires a nine as well. So the door is wide open for the United States. Shooting indoors here in Las Vegas from 18 meters as compared to the 70 meters outdoors and 50 meters in compound competition. Christy Collin coming through with a 10. So the United States trying to close in on another gold medal here at the World Archery Indoor Championships. The newcomer, Tristan Scarvin, shooting very well in this competition, peers through that one lens, ten. and she fires a 10. So Scarvin doing her job today for the United one States. Left. Scarvin only 20 years old, and Eric Anschutz, 23 years old, perhaps the best compound archer amongst ten. the women in the world, and she fires a nine. It's enough for the United States. It was close, but the United States pulls away and wins by three points, much to the delight of the fans here in Nevada. And thumbs up from Erica Anschutz, as well as her teammates, Christy Collin and Tristan Scarvin. Both teams exchanging handshakes. And another golden moment for Team USA as they win it 229 to 226. I'm still aged as a junior, um, so I shot up to the senior team. Um, so that was a challenge among us. We had never shot um, as a team before, and I think we really worked well together, and, and that was fun. It was really great shooting with these girls. So a lot of fun for the American women, and hopefully some more fun for the American men in the men's compound team gold medal match. So far, the United States has faced Japan and Russia in the gold medal finals. Now they faced France. It'll be Jimmy Butts, Braden Gelantine, and Rio Wild, who had defeated the Ukraine by 11, Mexico by 9, and Canada by 2 to reach this gold medal match and face Guillaume Rubin, Sebastian Penault, and Pierre Julien Deloche in the cap on the left. The three from France outscored Ireland by 8, finished off Finland by 4, and then beat Great Britain by 2 to get this far. However, in this gold medal match, after three ends, the French find themselves trailing by six. 
now as we pick up the action midway through the fourth and final end, the United States has an even more commanding lead of seven points as the USA has shot three tens to start this fourth and final end. Pierre-Julien Deloche with his final arrow of the day. Deloche, Nine. who turned 30 in Las Vegas during the indoor championships, comes up with a nine. Now Guillaume Rubin, nah. 34 years old and out to win his first medal on the international stage. The nine will not help his nine cause, and up. neither will this shot, Finish. despite the 10 from Peinot, Sebastian Peinot. So barring a major collapse by the United States, the Americans will win this match. It's just a matter of Ten. by how many points. Rio Wild, 38 years old, ranked second in the world, putting it in the middle of the target as does Jimmy Butts. Nine. Jimmy Butts, 44 years old, has not competed a lot recently, scores a nine actually, but it matters yeah, not yeah. as Braden Galanty comes through, the 25-year-old finishing things off in grand style for the United States. The Americans building their lead throughout this entire match from one end to the next, and they win going away by eight points. There you see the victors, Rio Wild on the right, Jimmy Butts in the middle, and Braden Galantine on the left. 238 to 230, your final score. This impressive trio of American archers only missing on two shots today. Most of the shots were in the center ring, which by the way, once again, is only about two centimeters in diameter, about the size of a dime. And when you're shooting at 18 meters, that is a small target, but that is the challenge indoors. And the Americans come away with a victory, not just in this match, but in three other gold medal matches here in Las Vegas at the World Archery Indoor Championship Finals. Uh, it was a great team victory today. We all really uh, worked hard and uh, took turns putting the team on each other's backs and uh, came out with a victory. It was just, it's awesome to shoot up with uh, two other true professionals and having total confidence that they're going to hit the ten ring almost every time and, and knowing that if you have a little hiccup or a little mistake that the other guy's going to pick up for you. So it's just, it's, it's great and I feel honored to be a member of the team. It's the first time I've ever seen archery live uh, in my backyard of Las Vegas and I came down here on behalf of Longines who's been a fantastic sponsor of mine, of what I'm doing with my foundation here in the local community and across the country in education. But to to watch the precision and to watch all the intricacies of what exists to make these uh, athletes who they are uh, captivated me and now as a result I think I'm a fan for life. <laughs> players in the history of his sport to one of the greatest archers in the history of her sport and that is Natalia Valeva of Italy who has reached the women's recurve gold medal match this is Miranda's first appearance in an indoor championship of course Natalia Valeva became an indoor world champion back in 1992 so it's the experienced veteran against the up-and-comer from the United States Miranda Leak once again only 18 years old but is truly one of the rising stars in this sport for the United States. After the first four sets, we're tied at four apiece. Four all, Valeva lost the first set, but has staged to come back, and now is in great position to win this nice gold medal. With that arrow, she's inside the 10 ring. She scores a 10 and puts the pressure right back on Miranda Leak, who is ranked 36th in right the world. Here. She responds with a bullseye of her own. So Miranda Leek in head-to-head -head competition with Valeva, nice who is still Miranda. considered one of the most decorated archers nice in the world today. Good a contrast in styles, Valeva very stoic. Miranda Leek, loose, almost carefree, having a good time out here, but trying to win the gold medal. That won't help. She scores a nine. She had an opportunity, a window of opportunity to move ahead of Valeva. And Valeva comes through in the clutch. She scores a 10 on her final arrow, so now it is up to Miranda Leak to match her. She has to be inside that center ring, the 10 ring. 
And again, it is only two centimeters wide. It's about the size of a dime, and it looks like it's on the line, but upon closer inspection, as Mel Nichols looks on with the binoculars and hopes for the best, the officials, the judges, looking very closely, and their decision is it is outside the line. It is not a 10, it is a nine. And so Valeva gets the victory. She wins the gold medal. And so V for Valeva, she gets the win. Miranda Lee can only wonder what if as she looks on knowing that she was just a millimeter, perhaps a centimeter away from tying this match and sending it to a shootout. But Valeva doing the victory dance in Las Vegas as she wins another gold medal in a closely contested match with the 18-year-old Miranda Leek. There's your winner from Italy, Natalia Valeva. It was not that easy to win these World Championships, and I'm very happy that I made it. Five times the Indo World Championships. I'm very happy and very proud. In the men's recurve gold medal match, it is not Brady Ellison, but Jake Kaminsky from the United States, who will be in these finals. Kaminsky pulling off the upset of his USA teammate Brady Ellison in the elimination rounds. And so it'll be Kaminsky taking on Marco Galeazzo of Italy, a man who won the gold medal in Athens back in 2004, the 28th Olympiad. So Mr. Kaminsky definitely has his work cut out for him, and in this closely contested match, he's doing well. It is tied up at four all after the first four sets. As we head to the fifth set here, tied at four all, Kaminsky, who is in his first indoor championship finals, fires a 10 with that arrow, a little bit shaky, but getting it in the 10 ring. Galeazzo trying to counter with a 10 of his own and stay yeah. even, yeah. and he does. Galeazzo matching Kaminsky, arrow for arrow. Big shot coming up for Kaminsky right here. You can see the elbow wavering just a little bit, and he is outside the 10 ring, outside the 9 right. ring. It's an 8. And that may prove critical. That may be too much for him to come back from. It opens the door certainly for Galeazzo. Galeazzo with a solid nine right there. So Kaminsky knowing he's got to have at least a 10 to have a chance of getting this thing to a shootout. And there he is, almost hit the spider with that shot. Gives his coach a high five, but you can tell he's upset with himself about the eight that he scored with his second shot here in the fifth set. Galeazzo comes up with a nine. It's a liner. Nine. They put the asterisk by that, so they'll have to check that. But Galeazzo will await the verdict of the judges, as will Jake Kaminsky, wondering whether or not he's going to get to go to the shootout and try to win this gold medal against the veteran Galeazzo, who was ranked number one in the world back in 2006 and now is ranked 10th in the men's recurve competition. Galeazzo, a cool, calm, composed customer. That was. And the decision has been rendered. One strong shot. Nice shot. And we will go to a shootout. You got this, Jake. Let's do this. The shoot off right here, and Jake Kaminsky stepping confidently up to the line. And in this situation, you have to shoot tens. You have to be in that center ring. We're tied at five all, and there is a liner. It's a nine, and that really opens the door for Galeazzo. The veteran knows this full well, and Galeazzo with a 10. So it is game, set, and match for Marco Galeazzo. The winner once again of the gold medal in Athens in 2004. He comes up with an indoor championship gold medal here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Gets the match to a shoot off with Jake Kaminsky and he comes through on that final arrow. I've shot well. I only thought to shoot good and not about my opponent. At the finish, I won and I'm very happy about it.
So good work by Marco Galeazzo of Italy who wins his gold medal indoors here in Las Vegas. Now it's time for the women's compound gold medal match and a relative newcomer, Inga van Kaspel of the Netherlands, who got by Russia's Natalia Avdeva, six and four, and then defeated Christy Collin by the same score in the semis. She will face the Russian Victoria Balzanova, who defeated Italy's Laura Longo in the quarterfinals, and then won a shoot off with Linda Ochoa of Mexico in the semis. So she waves at the crowd as she nervously awaits her match and her showdown with Inga van Kaspel, the Dutch archer. And after the first four sets, it is five to three. And as the Russian contingent looks on, Inga van Kaspel knows she needs to win this fifth set outright to keep this match going. So van Kaspel, who came to Las Vegas ranked 40th in the world with her first shot of the fifth set, fires a nine. Balzanova. Ranks seventh in the world coming into the indoor championship. Lines up her shot and is dead center with that. She moves ahead in this set. And Van Caspel tries to keep pace. Van Caspel coming up with a 10 right there after firing a nine on her first shot. So the ball is in the court of Balzanova, who fired a 10 with her first shot and follows it up with another bullseye. Dead center in the center of the target. Balzanova with the 5-3 lead in set points, knowing all she needs to do in this set is tie, split the points, pick up one more point, and win the match. But Van Caspel will not go gently into the good night. She will not go away easily. She fires a 10 with her final shot, so now Balzanova needs at least a 9, but a 10 will win it. She gets the 9 instead, and so they split the points. And nine turns out to be enough for Victoria Balzanova of Russia, competing in her first indoor world championship match, and she wins her first gold medal in indoor competition. A tough match with the Dutch archer Inga van Kaspel, but Balzanova comes out on top in this one, six and four. It was very difficult for me. It was the first time that I reached such a high level competition. I was very worried, but still I did my best. And I won. Congratulations to Ms. Balzanova from Russia picking up the gold medal. Now it's time for the men's compound gold medal match, and it's an all American affair. Jimmy Butts, 44 years old. A man who used to compete with D. Wild, who happens to be the father of Rio Wild, his competitor today in this gold medal match. There is Rio Wild shooting at target number two, shooting with those Easton arrows, and he put on quite a show, coached by his brother Logan Wild. And there you take a look at that target. It has been worn out by Rio Wild. In fact, at one point in this match, he had fired 10 consecutive bullseyes and was in position in the fourth and final set to put this match away. Good look at Jimmy Butts right there. Jimmy, 44 years old, has not been seen an awful lot on the international circuit over the last several years, and he scores a nine to start the fifth set. That leaves the door open for Rio Wild. Wild had fired a nine with his final arrow of the fourth set. If he had scored a 10, the match would have been over. But because of that nine, it goes to the fifth and deciding set, and Wild makes up for it with a 10 on his first arrow. It's gonna to be tough for Jimmy Butts to make up the ground. But Butts hanging in there, the veteran with a 10, and hoping that Real Wild has a little bit of a hiccup. That's a big hope, as Real Wild has been inside that 10 ring most of this match. And he is again with his second arrow here in the fifth set. So all Jimmy Butts can do is hope for the best, fire his best shot, try to end this match as best as he possibly can, and he does. Dead center, dead solid, perfect shot by Jimmy Butts. And all he can do now is hope but real wild is almost automatic. 
especially in these situations. 38 years old, ranked second in the world, and that one is on the line. They're going to count it as a 10, and that's enough for Real Wild to wrap up the match. So Real Wild winning another gold medal, doing it indoors, raises his arms in victory as he picks up the gold medal, defeating Jimmy Butts by the count of seven and three here at the Indoor Championships. To win a World Championships in your home country is amazing. I mean, to have my dad, my little brother here, and friends and everybody who gets a chance to finally see, you know, what I've done for a lot of years, it's, it's a great honor. So to me, it's an amazing night. Amazing performances by Real Wild, Victoria Balzanova, Marco Galeazzo, and Natalia Valeva, all of them winning gold here in Las Vegas. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time from the Archery World Cup stop in Shanghai. So long, everybody. Thank you.